Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with a antique mall pickups video. Uh, had a, quite a haul, the most I've ever spent there in one time. Uh, I guess part of that stimulus check uh, that we all got um, probably went to this. The uh, rest went to bills and savings. So um, I did a splurge, um, thanks to Uncle Sam. So um, yeah, probably won't be able to do one of those for a long time, so um, figure why not do it now. So uh, I went there, I kind of took some more time in some of the places that I've really, I've been there and seen all this stuff before, but for some reason I've overlooked all this stuff. Uh, most of it's like a dollar, so um, I added up quickly, but a lot of the cost went to um, these big, big items, which I'll show you first. Um, this I picked up for uh, Jason for his Move On collection. I asked him if he needed it and he said yes, so I picked that one up for him. So that'll be going out to you, Jason. And I picked up some things for the room um, in the future in our new house. Uh, I got the Super Bowl, uh, was that 33? Yeah. Photo thought that'd be cool. The frame put in kind of like a Broncos section and then we got the Broncos Ring of Fame all the Ring of Famers we got Rod Smith, Shannon Sharp, Terrell Davis, Steve Atwater, Gary Zimmerman, Carl Mecklenburg, Dennis Smith, John Elway, Lewis Wright, Tom Jackson, Randy Gratishar, Craig Morton, Haven Moses, Jim Turner, Bill Thompson, Frank Trapuca, Charlie Johnson, Paul Smith, Gerald H. Phipps who was an owner, Floyd Little, Rich Jackson, Lionel Taylor, and Austin aka Goose Gonsolin so that's a pretty cool one right there and then I don't really have any photos of Todd Helton I've got um, you can see over there uh, I got Cargo and Tulowitzki and then up here you can't see them but I got puzzles the old uh, Donner's Diamond King puzzles um, and then a bunch of pictures and cards around but yeah I thought those would be kind of some cool pieces to add to the room so that's where a lot of costs, those added up quickly. I uh, picked this up for my brother. You don't need to see the price. Let's go and take that off. Um, I thought he might like that for the garage or something for him, for his room. Um, kind of scared he'll come around there, big old bear. <laughs> don't know how that bear fit on that, that ledge there, but either way, it's a cool... Uh, reproduction sign of an old Remington ad but I thought he might enjoy that so that's a cool one there's plenty of awesome signs there's like um, uh, Bigfoot all kinds of Bigfoot signs that um, thought would be cool because one of my nicknames is Sasquatch so that's that's why I got this Bigfoot shirt then uh, we'll go with the non sports stuff I picked up this Randy Travis CD for a dollar my all-time favorite country musician. Um, I guess to get that from my dad. <laughs> That's his. So, um, figure I could listen to the truck. I know I got Spotify and all those things, but every now and then, sometimes it's cool just to pop in a CD. Then uh, for three bucks, my sister found a Clone Wars DVD. Um, they're actually supposed to have that tag, but oh well. <laughs> um, so that's the Snow, uh, Clone Wars movie, so she wanted that one, so I bought that for her. Uh, and then we also found the, uh, previously I picked up the uh, first Lord of the Rings extended edition, and we found the second one just in a random booth, so now we just need the third one. I mean, we have them on Amazon, but I mean, it's still cool just to have the actual DVD copies, because you never know, we might just cancel Amazon, so... And then we get to the sports cards. Well, actually, first, let's show the gloves. Um, I like to collect gloves, I guess, kind of. I carry them around in my truck. You never know if there's going to be something pop up people want to play catch. So I like to have lots of gloves for people. Um, we did a softball game back on July 4th at my church, which is a lot of fun. And we played backwards. Um, so third base was actually first base. It was a lot of fun. He hit the bat left-handed. Uh, good thing I actually practiced slightly left-handed so I could somewhat hit the ball. Um, so I got on base and scored both times, so that was fun. And then struck out right-handed, which was very odd. <laughs> so 
Uh, but anyways, I picked up a couple gloves. They were only nine bucks, um, and they're in decent shape. Um, they're not too old. Um, all the other baseball gloves that were around there, people want like 20, 30 bucks. And I'm like, and they were in way worse condition. Way they were newer, um, or older. And I'm just like, that's not worth it. For nine bucks, I got this softball outfield glove. Nine bucks, um, right-handed for right-handed throwers. Um, they had no left-handed. Uh, I need more of those for people who are left-handed because I only have one. And then I found a old catcher's glove, also for nine dollars. Um, this will help uh, replace um, the one that I have now. It's an old Lance Parrish glove, and it's held together right here with the shoelace um, because it fell apart. But it was such a good glove, we didn't want to lose it, so it still works. But yeah, I got another one. It's about the same size as the other one too, so probably not great for a softball, but hey. 18 bucks for two decent gloves. So that's another one where a lot of cost went to. Whatever you do, don't, don't keep track of costs at home. <laughs> okay, and now, now we go to the cards. Um, what are these packs? Uh, I think for gifts. I don't know. Don't think I'll open them. I don't know what year they are. Oh, 96. Yeah, we might open them. <laughs> if there's anything good in there, 96 clear. Um, perfect for autographs, all new textured. Yeah, I don't know if there's any good ones in there or not, but hey. Prizes or gifts, I don't know. And there's this one for five bucks. I don't know what's in here. I don't know if these are Topps total cards or they're just using the box. I didn't even look in there. Oh, no, the Topps total. I figure there might be some guys we can add to the binders. But, yeah. What year are these? 2005? So just those kind of cards. I'm not, there's just so much. Dwight Freeney. Julius Jones. Man. Marion Barber rookie card. I mean, there's just so much to go through. I won't. If you guys really want to see a whole video going through everything, sure, let me know. But this is just kind of a quick rundown of everything, I think. Then, um... Also, I guess for gifts, uh, 1992 Fleer, or hey, maybe future Junk Wax challenges, you never know. And then I got an 89 Tops. I don't know if it's open already, but let's see. It's got a Tommy Lasorda on the back there, rest in peace. Really sad to hear of his passing. I never did get him TTM. I did buy an autograph of his, though. And then we got... Um, well, let's, let's go with the packs. These were all a dollar. And I've gone through this vendor multiple times. And I was just like, going through them, seeing all these stuff. I'm like, you know what, I should buy these. So, um, some of them intrigued me for my binders since I'm doing that whole project of star players and Hall of Famers. So we got Warren Moon, Terry Allen on the back. I think this is just a whole Vikings little lot there. This is from a different vendor, but this is the Ted Williams, um, these are like pop-out coins. Looks like a whole set of those for a dollar. Took a chance here, there's some 2011 Bowman rookies in there. Never know, there might be something good. Uh, here's the Saints, we got Jim Everett and Morton Anderson on the back. We got Don Rose Team Heroes with Tom Seaver and Cliff Lee on the back. Got some 1997 Fleer, Albert Bell, and Bobby Bonilla on the back. Got this cool looking Jose Canseco from Circa 97. Kilvio Varis on the back for a dollar. And then, honestly, the best one. I mean, you can't even send to this guy, and maybe you'll get it back. I don't even know. But I got this for a dollar, and there's a Ted Ligety autograph. And he was a really uh, cool uh, Olympian to watch during the Winter Olympics. I really enjoyed watching him. 
So I don't know if there's more autographs in there, or if there's just one, but for a dollar, that's 100% worth it. And then there's another pack with more Olympians. I don't know if there's more in there in the middle. Um, I figured, let's pick it up and, and see. So for a dollar, 100% um, worth it. And then maybe we can send them off for TTM soon. I've got Jeff Bagwell here from 04, what, Leather and Lumber? Or 05 Leather and Lumber. Carry wood on the back. Got Chipper Jones and Sean Figgins in this pack. Picked up one with Michael Jordan on the front there. Thought that was worth picking up for a dollar. Got Mike Piazza and Albert Bell on the back. Got some Topps Finest. Sean Kemp and Reggie Miller on the back. We got, uh, I used to have some of these. I had 05 Fleer classic clippings Gary Sheffield and Gary Anderson had those in the last binder project I did so and we're still got a few more left here guys so, I don't know if, I don't know if I'll open these on, on camera yet or what you have to let me know uh, Larry Walker this is like collector's choice 1998 or something Jeff Cirillo I think this is a Rockies uh, group there. We got the Upper Deck Victory, Chipper Jones, and Greg Maddox. I think that's the Braves team pack. Got a Padres team pack from Fleer Triple Crown, uh, like 2000 or something like that, 2002. Ricky Henderson and Tony Gwynn on the back. Here's another one uh, with Chipper Jones in the front and Miguel Tata on the back. I apologize if you can hear my dog going crazy downstairs. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> I've got Dan Marino. Nobody special in the back on that one. Uh, Boomer Assassin, so that's a Jets pack. And then there's this random one. I don't... Um, 20... Must be a Tigers from 2015 Tops. Well, I probably wouldn't have bought that. Actually, I thought maybe just a random 2015. I was hoping maybe some good rookies. Um, got this 09 Upper Deck. That was one of my favorite uh, cards to collect. 08 and 09 Upper Deck. Get packs from those. And then these I've never seen. Legends of Today. 1998 Fleer. Phillies. Scott Rowland. And then there's Ricky Patelico in the back. Uh, I think this is 1998-99 Tops. Uh, Sean Kemp. And Kevin Garnett on the back. And final little pack is more victory. Um, Jason Giambi, solid hits, some sort of parallel or insert, and Tim Hudson on the back. So that was it for the packs. And then I found this vendor that I've never looked through before. At least on most of them. They were all a dollar, a bunch of vintage cards. So I went through those. Went for the whole box. So, picked up a uh, couple. I went back and just grabbed these again. No more Garcia Parra. So, that um, for Jason. If he doesn't have that already, we'll put that with the move on. I think I. Yeah, I got a couple. So. Uh, Mark McGuire. A couple of those. I'm dropping them. I was thinking of like. Brandon and Megan, you know, or something like that. If I don't already have those, I don't remember which ones I got last time. Uh, Pedro Martinez, I don't think I grabbed one of those. Chipper Jones, I don't think I got one of those. If I did, then maybe Steve, Purple GT, might want that one. Uh, Mike Piazza, and Sammy Sosa. That was really cool. Uh, what are they, 1998? 99 power deck disc cards. So yeah, I got those. And then there's a few autographs I thought were cool to pick up. Uh, Greg Briley, a couple bucks. Brian Harvey, a couple bucks. Rick Dempsey, who I have not gotten back from yet, a couple bucks. And Brian Hunter. 
I was either he's the cousin of Kevin Mitchell or somebody else's. I forget. And then there are some little more modern cards. I'm going to vintage, and then we're done. Um, this is kind of an odd card. 1988 Fantastic Sam's uh, George Brett Baseball Superstars card. I have never seen these before, so I thought they were cool enough to pick up for a dollar. Again, I think all these were a dollar. Maybe there's one for two bucks. Uh, cool Bo Jackson card. I, uh, Bo Breaker breaking his bat over his knee. I don't think I have that one yet. Got this cool um, Tim Brown and Fred Belenikoff hologram card. Really cool for the football collection. Uh, this card intrigued me. Um, it's Wayne Hillman, and somehow the back is printed on the front of the card upside down. <laughs> so I just, for a dollar, I just picked that card up. I thought that was kind of weird and intriguing. So um, I don't know if somebody wants that. If they want to buy that or whatever. I don't know. Um, it just kind of interested me. I was like, I have never seen that before. So that's like a 72, 73 hockey, I think. And picked up some Thurman Munson cards for a dollar. Well, that one's two dollars, I guess. 73 and 72. Um, some of them are in rough shape. Some of them are better than others. Some some other dealers in other cases were asking for the same cards, like 10, 15, 20 bucks, and I found these for a dollar. So, um, yeah, I think I made the, good, the right decision. Uh, I used to have this card one time, Joe Morgan. Uh, Johnny Bench and Dick Allen. A lot of these guys we lost this year, or last year. Uh, Frank Robinson from 73. And again, keep in mind these are all dollar. This is Bert Bly 11 rookie card for a dollar. Um, not in great shape, but I mean it was a dollar. So, I don't even have that card. Uh, really cool looking Willie Stargell. It's got some creases, but um, I don't mind that. I think sometimes those add to the card. Not value-wise, but you know, to you as a collector, they might add some something to you. Uh, Harmon Killebrew from 73. Uh, Johnny Bench, Billy Williams, and Tony Perez. Sorry some of the stickers are covering their faces, but yeah. 73 Raleigh Fingers. Look at that unibrow and mustache. Glorious mustache. Got a 73 Johnny Bench. Oh, that's just an Ultra Pro sticker. It's not damaging the card there. Got a 75 Tops Raleigh Fingers. Even better mustache there. And then we're almost done here. So thanks for sticking with me for so long. Uh, second year George Foster card. A Frank Robinson. 72. A Willie Stargell from 73. And finally, for a dollar, a 1970, you think, Tops Big, I think is what they were. And this guy was big, so it makes sense. Uh, Mr. Frank Howard. So, um, really cool. Um, there's a cool story about Frank Howard in uh, one of uh, Jeff Baker's TTM casts. Uh, I think he was talking to Lenny Randall. Uh, he talked about how uh, Frank Howard played first base and Lenny Randall played uh, second. So um, when he said when Frank Howard was calling you off saying he got it, you got out of the way because that dude was 6'7", 250 pounds, and he was like, you know, five foot whatever, 160 pounds. And you're just gonna bounce off a wall. <laughs> so you get out of his way. The big Frank says he's got it. So really cool. So. Um, I think I did pretty well. Spent too much money, but that's so sometimes that's okay. I'll 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 be paying it off. I'm responsible, so <laughs> don't you worry. Um, but added some cool stuff to the collection, I think, and made for a good video. And I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble and going through this stuff. And hopefully you guys have a good day. And I will see you all next video. So talk to you later, guys. Bye.